And as we take a look at temperatures around the region, just know that the average high this time of year is in the low 40s. Just about everybody on the map, with the exception of Bedford, is doing better than low 40s. Right now, we've got a group, in fact, about a half a dozen cities in the low 50s, or right on the 50 degree mark. Washington's at 51. Newcastle's our hot spot. No, sorry, make that Pittsburgh International at 53 degrees as the warmest reading in the region. And as you take a look at the city right now from the West End Overlook, 53 is the current temperature with humidity at 83%, a south wind at 12, so fog has never really been. We've got some haze out there but and mostly cloudy skies, but fog has never really been an issue for us today. Pressure is at 2986 and the dew point is at 48 degrees. Here's your 24-hour temperature trend. Reading is going from the mid-50s at 2, 3, and 4 o'clock down into the low 30s overnight before running right back up into the near uh, the low 40s tomorrow. However, it will be a cooler day tomorrow than today. That's for sure. With temperatures in the low to mid 50s, we don't see another day like this for <laughs> I hate to say it, but maybe until March. It's going through right now will usher in much colder air that will push our temperatures down overnight. Fortunately, the rain, the precipitation will all be out of here before the cold air arrives. And so nothing in the way of snowfall, just a few showers left over. And then look at that clear skies, a beautiful day coming up tomorrow, but it'll look beautiful. It'll feel downright frigid compared to what we've had. Forecast says 55 today. Rain showers, mild temps right through the afternoon. Then late tonight, temps begin to tumble as that front comes through and the air in behind it makes its entry into western Pennsylvania. 30 degrees, the overnight low. Our high tomorrow will be only 38 degrees, and that's going to seem even colder by comparison with what we've had for the last few days. 34 on Thursday. Then it looks like things get interesting. Stacy and Christine with snow arriving on Friday, a uh, late day, and I'm talking wet snow that probably won't accumulate more than a coating to an inch, but we'll keep you posted if that changes. Then some leftover snow showers on Saturday before just plain old cold weather settles in on Sunday. We do bump up though, up close to 40 by Monday.